Imagine for a moment that your thoughts and emotions aren't just private experiences, but are like the very building blocks of the world around you. It's as if your consciousness has this incredible power, and it's not just inside your head. It's out there, shaping the reality we all share. Think about it. Every thought you have, every intention you set, and every emotion you feel isn't just confined to your inner world. It's like throwing a pebble into a pond. The ripples from your mind spread out into the world and actually affect the collective consciousness. Now, picture the universe as something more than just lifeless matter and energy. It's like a living, breathing entity that's tuned in to what's happening in our minds. It's a place where the deepest thoughts we hold can actually shape the reality we see around us. It's a world where the secrets of creation aren't locked away in the physical realm, but they're hidden in the vast expanse of our own human consciousness. In our world, it's like everything is connected by this invisible web. I mean, seriously, every single thought you have, every feeling you experience, and every intention you set, they're all part of this grand cosmic dance. It's not just about an empty, vast universe. It's about a universe teeming with possibilities, just waiting for us to make our mark. I'm talking about everything, from those teeny tiny subatomic particles to those colossal cosmic events out there. They're all kind of like dancers in this intricate ballet, swaying to the rhythm of our thoughts and emotions. It's like we're not just spectators, we're the choreographers of this grand show. In this realm, the profound mysteries of existence aren't solely unlocked by the methods of science and logic. Instead, they beckon us to embark on a profound journey into the inner workings of the human mind and consciousness. This concept isn't new. It traces its origins back to ancient philosophies and spiritual traditions. These age-old sages and initiates have carried the torch of wisdom for centuries, emphasizing the interconnectedness of all aspects of existence. Their insight revealed that the universe isn't a patchwork of separate, isolated fragments. Instead, it's a beautifully woven tapestry where every fragment is intimately linked to the entirety. According to Hermetic philosophy, the universe finds its essence in the realm of the mind. In simpler terms, it suggests that the entire cosmos is a creation of the divine mind, the wellspring of all that exists. The universe isn't this separate thing from us. It's more like a mirror reflecting our thoughts and feelings. But what does it really mean to say that everything is mind and the universe is mental? Well, it's like we're all part of this enormous, all-encompassing consciousness. And when we talk about mind, we're not talking about the logical, analytical part of our brains. We're diving into something deeper, a vast realm of awareness that goes beyond individual thinking and connects to the whole universe. Think of this consciousness as the big picture, the ultimate creative force. Some folks might call it God, others the universe, or even the creative consciousness. Every thought, every emotion, every sensation you have, they're all like brushstrokes on the canvas of this universal mind, shaping the masterpiece that is our reality. Pretty mind-boggling, right? When we say that the universe is mental, we're essentially acknowledging that the cosmos itself is born from this vast consciousness. It's like this cosmic imagination, the divine will, that weaves every thread of creation from the tiniest grain of sand to the farthest galaxy. So, our reality, what we live and experience, isn't just a random thing. It's a creation of our collective consciousness. The universe isn't just about the physical, it's got this mental dimension too. It's like saying everything around us is shaped by mind, and the universe itself is mental. Now, why does this matter? Because it's through the incredible power of the mind that we can craft our own reality, steer our destiny, and tap into the boundless potential of the universe. This remarkable power, often called imagination, holds the key to unlocking our true potential and bringing our deepest desires to life. All right, get ready for a mind-expanding idea. According to Neville Goddard, everything we go through in life is like a giant projection of our own thoughts and beliefs, 
So, if we want to switch up our reality, we've got to start by rewiring our thoughts. It's not some wishful thinking or just being overly positive. No, no, it's much deeper than that. It's like having this superpower that can literally reshape the very fabric of existence itself. In simpler terms, it means we've got the keys to steer our own destiny through the incredible power of our imagination. But here's the catch. We've got to approach this power with a sense of awe, humility, and a deep understanding of how it all works. Now, there's another interesting thinker, Don Miguel Ruiz, who penned The Four Agreements. He's got a similar take. He says we're all living in this shared dream, what he calls the dream of the planet. So in a way, we're all part of this grand cosmic story we're writing together. The dream of the planet encompasses the shared system of beliefs, traditions and anticipations that mould our perception of the world. These notions and outlooks endure across generations, bolstered by the prevailing culture and societal norms. This collective dream fosters a shared illusion, shaping our view of the world, often concealing the constraints and predispositions it imposes. Our encountered reality isn't an entirely external, objective existence, but rather a construct of our combined awareness. The cosmos isn't merely a physical entity. It's equally a mental one, molded and brought to life by our thoughts and interpretations. Think of your thoughts as these little power-packed entities. They're like tiny seeds that need your attention to grow into something significant. It's almost like they're saying, hey, notice me. Now, when you spend time dwelling on certain thoughts, they start stirring up emotions inside you. It's like a recipe. Think failure. And you might start feeling down in the dumps, like life's not going your way. Keep stirring that pot, and you might find yourself in a full-blown funk, you know, maybe even dealing with depression. But here's the cool part. Your body gets in on the action too. So, if you're constantly thinking those gloomy thoughts, your body language might scream it out loud. Picture this, slumped shoulders, a posture that's not exactly confident, and people can practically see self-doubt written on your face. But here's where the magic happens. When you flip the script and start focusing on those empowering thoughts, it's like your confidence gets a mega boost. Suddenly, you're standing tall, shoulders back, ready to take on the world. The initial boost of confidence leads to a positive emotional outlook, which is reflected in our body language. This is demonstrated through our upright posture, the exuberance we exude, and the vitality we radiate, all clear indications of this heightened emotional state. Our goal is to transform frustration into joy, impatience into patience, animosity into affection, conflict into tranquility, sorrow into happiness, and similar positive shifts. These are the admirable qualities we strive to embody. Yet, despite our longing for positivity, we often allow annoyances to disrupt us and grapple fruitlessly with circumstances beyond our control. Interestingly, approximately 90% of our negative thoughts go unrealized, yet this fact doesn't deter us from embracing pessimism. When trapped in such negative spirals, it is crucial to consciously observe and acknowledge their implausibility or falseness. By applying the principle of polarity, we can focus on the opposite end of the spectrum from the negative thoughts we seek to dispel. As stated in the Kybalion, to eliminate an undesirable mental state, activate the principle of polarity and concentrate on the opposing aspect to what you want to suppress. Transform the undesirable by shifting its polarity. Transforming negative thoughts. When we find ourselves bogged down by negative thoughts, we can use mental transmutation to flip them around or simply replace them. It's like taking a gloomy thought and turning it into something positive or redirecting our focus elsewhere, like enjoying nature or diving into fulfilling activities the Hermetic Philosophy. The concept of mental transmutation is a fundamental part of Hermeticism, which is a philosophy exploring the inner workings of the mind. Essentially, it's about reshaping our thoughts to purify, elevate, 
and ultimately make our mental state and life better. Sometimes it's called mental alchemy, because it's like using the power of our thoughts to change ourselves and the world around us, making things better and more in line with our desired outcomes. In simpler terms, mental transmutation is like having a mental superpower that helps us turn negativity into positivity and shape our lives in a better direction by harnessing the potential of our thoughts. It's a tool for self-improvement and personal growth. The universe isn't just a bunch of disconnected stuff. It's a vast, intricate web where everything is linked, including your thoughts and emotions. So remember, your thoughts and emotions aren't just private experiences. They're like the building blocks of the world around you. Your consciousness has incredible power, and it's not confined to your head. It's out there, shaping our shared reality. In this cosmic dance of existence, you have the power to craft your own reality by harnessing the boundless potential of your imagination. So embrace this power with awe, humility, and understanding and start rewriting your story in this grand cosmic tale we're all a part of.